Hello everyone, it's been 5 days since the release of the new weapons, so let's take a look at how the new weapons perform. Since the beta weapon video that I made, I have received many requests about the Staff Warrior build. The build is full Berserker gear thanks to the Staff healing abilities. Berserker can stay alive during hard encounters and burst mobs faster with axes. You can swap to staff to heal whenever you need healing or to cleave a group of mobs. Even though we run full berserker gear and use offensive traits, the damage and sustain are much lower than the Kandi silly berserker build. With that being said, if you are looking for a fun build, I recommend this Staff Berserker build. Or if you are looking for results, the Celestial is obviously the best option. At long last, the Guardian got a pure condition weapons. The build is the same one that I made since the Soto expansion release. We are only going to replace Scepter and Sword with pistols. Here's a quick guide to the build. We use the Sigil of Virality and Swords of Justice to inflict 25 vulnerabilities and cleave mobs faster. Unlike Warrior and Revenant, Guardian don't have a passive healing traits to keep it alive. And it has low HP. So we will use the Bow of Truth to drop healing pulses and a Relic of the Defender to heal every time we block an attack by using the F3 skill. And since I'm talking about Willbender, I want to respond to those who kept asking me in Discord, is there a way to have Perma Quickness on Willbender? The answer is yes, Willbender can have Perma Quickness. But as you can see, the damage is very low. To have Perma Quickness, we must sacrifice Ferrat Sigil and the Swords of Justice, which mean losing vulnerability and the ability to cleave mobs. So it's not worth it. Final note, if you want to add CC ability, you can swap Bow of Truth to Sanctuary for healing and to break the fine spot. You can view the rotation in the description down below. Scepter on Power Vendi is good to generate barriers, but the damage is low. The Power Vendi that I made is using Salvation Trait Line for self-sustain and to remove conditions, so it's not worth it to lose more DPS for extra unneeded sustain. But you can use it as a second weapon to heal if needed.
Short bow and mechanist has lower DPS burst compared to the mace pistol build. But in return, short bow mech is really good to stay in range and let your jade mech do the DPS. Just make sure to drop the short bow skills on you and the jade mech. The reason is to double the boon's duration and stacks for the jade mech to deal damage and to stay alive. So short bow and mechanist is currently the comfiest build to use and to cheese hard events. Maces on Untamed are really good. The build is the same as the one that I made during the beta. We are using full berserker gear to maximize the damage. The traits are Nature Magic and Skirmishing. Nature Magic increases your power damage for each boon, removes conditions every time you dodge, extend the boon duration, and more self-healing. Skirmishing to reach the crit cap and to increase the damage. Yes, the damage and sustain are still lower compared to Celestial Untamed, but this Untamed build can nuke many mobs and veterans in no time. Also, it's able to solo hard legendary bounties if needed. The build in the description. We all knew that Axon Thief will be nerfed because it was overperforming during the beta. So Axe has less damage and survivability compared to the daggers that I built. But what makes the Axe shine is the ability to burst mobs faster and it's good against moving enemies. Make sure to check the description for the build link and rotation.
the Southern Reaper can only inflict chill on the third Shin attack, which means the damage burst will be lower compared to the other weapons, Scepter and Pistol. But as you can see, the sword is very simple to use and has the ability to leap from one target to another. So if you are looking for a simple Reaper rotation, use a main hand sword instead of Scepter and Pistol. But if you are looking for big numbers, then the old build is still better. The room of the peacock laid waste by the void. Ready yourself. The rooms are truly here. The room of the koi, once so peaceful. Half this region is ready now. Keep it up so everyone's really going there when things kick off. Pistol on Ellie is sadly underwhelming. The weapon has lower damage and sustain and has no survivability skills compared to the hammer for both Catalyst and Tempest. And it's clunky to use on Weaver, so it won't replace the Scepter. I tried Rifle Mesmer on full Berserker gear and offensive traits, and the result was... Know your fucking place, trash! Hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you want more info, make sure to join the Discord and check the pinned messages. You will find mid links, rotation, and screenshot guides. So that's all for today. See you later in the next video, and have a nice day.